In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's start our catechism class by praying to Mary and by praying to the Holy Spirit. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Our guardian angels, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Welcome once again to our short catechism class that we have every day, Monday through Fridays, from 12.45 to about 1 o'clock. First was a class on prayer. And we define prayer as the following. Listening to God. Talking to God. And loving God. Why don't we say that together? Prayer is listening to God. Prayer is talking to God. And prayer is loving God. And the most important part is loving God. So hopefully all of you are trying to pray a little bit more and a little bit better every day. Ask the Virgin Mary who loves you very much to inspire you to pray more and more. Every time you pray, Heaven rejoices. Every time you pray, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, their hearts are filled with joy. So see, prayer is so important. And I give you this image. What air is to the lung, soul, prayer is to your soul. So if you don't breathe in air, you die. Your soul is not breathing in prayer, then our little by little it withers and it dies. Yesterday, my friends, we talked about the importance of mercy, the importance of mercy, and mercy means that we're called to forgive and not to say that mercy is easy mercy is hard when someone hurts us right away we think about even stephen we think about well he did this to me how i how can how can i get even so forgiving and being merciful is very hard so we have to beg god for the Grace, which is his help to be able to forgive. Yesterday also was the 15th anniversary of the death of Pope John Paul II. So before entering into this next catechism class, I'd like to show you a picture of someone who really practiced mercy. And who practiced mercy? This great man. There you have Pope John Paul II. But you see the page with John Paul II in which he's falling down. And you see the page John Paul II is next to that man in blue. Okay, let me explain this. May 13th, 
1981, John Paul II was greeting the people in the Plaza St. Peter. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, gunshots could be heard. And John Paul II fell down. Because that man in blue, he shot, G he shot John Paul II a couple of times in his stomach. And John Paul II was rushed to the hospital. And it looked as if he was going to die because he was losing a lot of blood. So many people prayed. And because of their prayers, many rosaries, many sacrifices, John Paul II recovered. That was May 13th, 1981. That same year, Christmas Eve, what happened was John Paul II went to the jail in Rome where this man, Willy Aka, was incarcerated. He was in jail. And John Paul II went and he shook his hand and he forgave him for trying to to kill him and take away his life. There you have, my friends, in Jesus and Mary, there you have one of the best examples of mercy in the world. The Vicar of Christ, John Paul II, a great, great Pope for many years, he forgave the man that tried to take his life away. For that reason, John Paul II is a great example. So that moves us into the third chapter. Third chapter is we're called to offer to Jesus and Mary loving sacrifices. Loving sacrifices. And that means a good action that offer to God that I love Him. These actions are not easy to do, but the saints have carried out. Now, of all the during the week, when we're called to offer up sacrifices, that day is today, which is Friday. And the reason why Friday is the day in which we should offer up sacrifices is because Friday is the day in which Jesus died on the cross for us. And by the way, next Friday is actually Good Friday. It's a day in which we meditate upon how much Jesus suffered on the cross because he loved us so much and he wants us to offer up sacrifices for ourselves and for others to save souls. Now, for us to offer up sacrifices, we have to have sanctifying grace. And that's the life of Jesus in our souls that were received in baptism. And we have to correspond to this grace that God has given to us. What are some of the effects the sacrifices performed with love and sanctifying grace produce in us. Listen what happens. When you make a sacrifice, you give up something you love. Your soul, which is so important, your soul becomes really pleasing to God. Your soul is purified of venial sin. You're drawn closer to God. You can actually release souls from purgatory to go up to heaven if you offer up your sacrifices for them. And a Lady of Fatima, you see the picture there, there's a Lady of Fatima and Sister Lucia. A Lady of Fatima said many 
souls are lost because not enough people offer up sacrifices and they don't pray enough. So if you want to help Jesus, you want to help Mary to save souls, offer up your sacrifices. And one of the ways that we can offer up sacrifices is by making our morning offering as soon as we get up, in which we offer our eyes, our ears, our lips, our hands, our feet, our bodies to Jesus through the Blessed Virgin Mary. So everything we offer to Jesus Mary is more pleasing to Jesus because Jesus loves his mother so very much. So what are some of the sacrifices that we can carry out? Well, first is doing our daily duties well normally in your case it would be carrying out your school obligations and doing it well even some of you are carrying out your school obligations online so try to do that well next accept the difficulties of life without complaining we're all going through this coronavirus in which we're we have more limitations Try not to complain. Many people suffer from, from complainitis. Let's try not to complain, but let's try God. What else can we do? Try to be kind to others. That means, even though you don't always feel good, smile at someone. You know, a smile is not expensive, but a smile is contagious as well as a frown is contagious. We want to fill our world, starting in our own homes, with joy, with a contagious What else can you do? Well, you might give up your favorite soft drink and drink water. You may give up something on TV or on your phone, or on your iPad, to help out your mother. You might get out of bed as soon as your alarm clock gets uh, rings. You might make your bed if possible without your mother telling you five times. You might say your morning prayers right away without waiting. And say your night prayers right away. Try not to waste time. Another thing you might do is always tell the truth. Never tell a lie. And even though this is hard, try to help out your mom and dad. You're given two hands. Your hands are meant to serve. And as St. Paul says in the Bible, he says that there's much more joy in giving than in receiving. So my friends, in Jesus, Mary, and St. Joseph, this has been our catechism class today. And you can just press and go online and read a short chapter of the importance of sacrificing. The last thing I'd like to say is what can really help us to offer up sacrifices, and they're not always easy, is to contemplate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and he, as he hung on the cross. Why did Jesus hang on the cross? For one reason. Because he loves you and he loves me and he wants all of us to be with him forever and ever in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you with peace and joy and love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
So we'll see you on Monday.